Hello, I'm just walking to the marina office here, Chatham, to uh, speak to them about our departure. And there are lots of beautiful little boats here today, so I'll just show you a few of them on the way past. And if you think this boat is cool, I do, then check out the tender. Absolutely beautiful. Check out this one. I just love old wooden boats like that. Really pretty. There's another one over here. And before we leave this place, I've got something to show you as well. Just a little something, but again, it's just one of those little details which make life really quite nice. Here we are inside the laundry room here. There's a little books to borrow section where you can swap yours for another or borrow and bring back. It's really nice. Well, I'm not exactly sure what's happening today but there's just been cannon fire from Upner Castle. I'm guessing it's some kind of open day that they're having. But yeah, it's a really nice day today. We've got some boats out on the river. And tomorrow we will be joining them. Well, just by chance, as I was passing, there is this beast of a border force vessel. And I'm gonna go on board and have a look around. Look at this. Not much chance of getting away from this, is there? Well, I'm sorry. I had anticipated this IMEX Royal Air Force, hence the cap. And I know, you know, how these kind of things work. We weren't allowed to film inside, unfortunately, because of security reasons. Um, the guys couldn't get in touch with their press officer and without their clearance, you know, we couldn't film. But that is a very, very, very cool boat. Wow. There was lots of cool information given to me, which I probably don't remember any of it, but um, it was really interesting to see inside there. They've got amazing gear on board, the cameras and the, the infrared cameras that lock onto targets and things. Very, very cool. So back to the boat, see what Rosella and Emma are getting up to. One thing I forgot to mention about the border force, guys and lady were how friendly they were really really super friendly and helpful and very much like the police in the UK they kind of try and foster a lot of their job actually is fostering good relations with the public so instead of having the six people on board that boat in this area they've got hundreds of eyes and ears working for them and if people get information or see anything suspicious they do call and get in touch with them so it is a very efficient way of working if you have any animosity with people then you don't get that kind of same result so I think it's a very good way of working and guess what else happened while I was away I don't know something arrived a little something that's very important oh wow yay <laughs> yippee Emma bandiera italiana hooray wow. so we can put that on the yippee. boat alongside well it won't be alongside but it will be as well as, in addition to, Perfect. the Red Ensign. Yay! Perfect. Oh, we try not to turn to it soon. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am dumbfounded by this, but I just came out here to put our tender away. And if you look straight ahead there, see this boat in the foreground. This boat weighs 40 tonnes. And the guys on board Vic 96, the other boat behind, they were just handling it with warps, spinning it around. And I thought I'd pootle over and ask them if they wanted a hand. So I arrived there and they were at 90 degrees perpendicular to Vic 96, with the stern facing towards the camera, where the camera is now. And I said, hi guys, I know you don't need it and it probably won't do much, but would you like me to give you a hand to turn that with the 
electric outboard. They said yes, uh, every little helps, so I went over there and honestly, within about 15 seconds, this little outboard had pushed that 40 tonnes of boat around onto Vic 96. So don't underestimate these little trolling motors, they're amazing. Chatham Marina, this is Brittany, over. Brittany, this is Chatham, go ahead, over. Be advised, we are expecting to have free flow running at that time, over. Copy that Chatham, free flow, out. It's time to head off to Pastures New. And let's see how this trip goes, if it's any less stressful than the last one. I think it will. Okay, are we ready? Stand by. I'm going to release this, then I'll ask you to release yours. Okay, let go. Release. Great. Yeah, thank you for the hospitality. Up near Castle, we get a kind of a close up view of it this time. Beautiful. Yeah. So, are the lines um, putting away that they can't flow in the water and getting the prop? Kind of. uh, vado a ricontrollare. We're moving around on the boat, we're moving around on the boat. Yes, we are. <laughs> Medway Yacht Club, our previous home.
test, I've just been running our engine at maximum RPM after the work I did on the cooling system and all perfect. to the marina. Over. You have the green light, sir. Are you new arrival? We are a new arrival. Uh, we have a berth assigned to us. So am I correct in thinking it's just free flow now? We can go straight through. Over. All right, sir. Roger, thank you. <laughs> potato. <laughs> potato. It's a potato. <laughs> They're only 50p. <laughs> Today's been an amazing day. It has. We learned some lessons from our last trip on the river. Yeah. And we did some things differently this time. First of all, rather than have Emma in the cockpit with us cooped up in a life jacket and a car seat. We just left her inside the saloon of the boat. So she was really happy playing yeah. with the toys. It was a, a different kettle of fish. Not having your baby cry when you're doing things on the boat just makes everything so much easier and yeah. less stressful. Yeah. Um, that was the first thing. The second thing we did was we were on time. <laughs> yeah, we stuck to the time. The tide times mean everything. And we stuck to the time that we wanted to, to leave. That had some really yeah. good advantages. We actually went through both of the locks in free flow, so we didn't have to enter the lock and change level and mess around with no, fenders and, yeah. and rut lines and things. It was just literally go straight through with the boat. So it was dead, dead easy. And yeah, also on the river, there was no real current or very little current, which um, now that the engine's good, I've tested it, maximum RPM isn't a problem. But if we had have had any problems, we weren't stressed because there wasn't a fast tidal current. So it was just a perfect, perfect. journey. Yeah. Really, really good. Perfect. But there was one thing we wanted to do, wasn't there? Yeah, and we still have to do it because we didn't want to be late. So we are going to do it now. Let's go. <laughs> Another reason today was perfect was just a quiet five minutes that I had. Basically I was lying down against the sofa here. I had Emma lying down on me. She was eating uh, the soup that Rosella made and some bread and I was eating some of the bread as well and every time I ate Emma looked up at me and watched me eat and then she was feeding. She was really content and relaxed. I could look outside and see the sun setting over the water and in front of me was Rosella standing, she was cooking and she was on the phone to her sister as well. And it was just one of those moments where you just feel a big wave of gratitude and I was trying to commit those few minutes to memory. Um, it was just a, a really, really beautiful moment and we are really very, very grateful for the lifestyle that we've got. The fact that we can do this, we can spend days like this together at such a precious time in Emma's life it's just a huge gift so um, just wanted to say this share this with you if anyone else is thinking of this lifestyle yes there are hard times there are stressful times there's a lot of hard work Reef it was very hard work but the reward of being in a small space like this in a, a cozy little home moving around to different places with your family it's worth every single second so if you're thinking of doing this go for it if you want to know where we are now and what's coming next, join us next time when all is going to be revealed. And if you haven't done already, subscribe to our channel. And if you have subscribed to our channel, click on the little notifications bell so you get notifications when we release new videos. Thank you.
Bye. Ciao. If you want to know where we are now and what's coming next, join us next time when when all will be revealed. Okay. Revealed. Revealed. D D. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to know where we are now and what's coming next, 